The 23rd Island of Origin Carnival is now underway on Badu Island. The island's councillor, Wayne Guevara, says the competition brings players and spectators from across the region. Well, of course, there's 18 inhabited communities just in the uh, Torres Strait, and also there's five communities that over in NPA. So, uh, yeah, they travel from all those communities to come here, and uh, as you can probably see around the grounds, they all have their community colours, and uh, these colours rarely change over the years. This event was based on uh, the state of origin, and uh, it, it, this event commenced in 19... 1985. They, they, they just one sport that they needed to follow and to keep that rivalry or back in the, the days where they had the head, head hunting and the, all that, the rivalry would, be, would be, the rivalry would be seen as a rugby league game. It's aggressive, it's a lot of contact, it's out there and um, I, I think that the people back then, the pioneers of that movement sort of said to themselves, hey, yeah, this is a good idea. People but communities have one year to prepare, fundraise, get money together come to a neutral point and let's do battle. Let's use the number one community. Families come together and it's a great opportunity to families come together. A great opportunity for these uh, our young athletes right across the Torres Strait to show their sporting wares and uh, they certainly love their rugby league and at, at all islands of the origins I know that uh, I can guarantee you, uh, people watching the game they're going to see some really special stuff over the next three days. It's not only the football, but it's the, uh, it's the camaraderie of all, all the communities, all the families, uh, how close they are, that'll come out. And, uh, and of course, we've got a saying up here, it's the Island Passel, and that's, uh, um, that's just the way of the life of island people. And you'll see that everywhere in your coverage here this weekend. Some of the football you're gonna see represents the new wave of Torres Strait football here in the in the remote areas of Australia. It's fast, it's furious, it's it's um, it's not structured at times. Um, it's not as fit as other carnivals and competition. But I suppose it's the impact, it's the contact and it's the getting together of islands and communities. And um, that's what you're gonna see out here this weekend. A lot of cheering and uh, a lot of rugby league Torres Strait stuff.